you know. Uh, hi, I'm Evil Dead 2021, and welcome back. We are getting ready to go with Sally Face again. See how far we can get. <clears throat> There's some birds. Let's see where we go. Oh, there's mom. Do I got... Hey, martyr. How you doing, man? Don't wander so far, sweetie. I want to see the doggy, mom. Can't you hear him? This is where I lose my face a bit. Actually, no, it, actually it is where I lose my face. Why don't you wait until father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. <clears throat> but I really want to see it. Please? Please, can I go pet the doggy? Alright, Sal. <clears throat> Just give me a second to get my purse. Then we can go together. Yay. I'll wait over there by the trees. I'm doing all right. <clears throat> Had a little bit of a rough day at work. I got dizzy as hell and then started having blurry vision while I was working. Tried to fight through it, but uh, didn't work out so well. Got towards like the beginning of lunch and then all of a sudden couldn't actually do it. Oh, God. Right now, I'm feeling sick on my stomach, so it just sucks. <clears throat> uh, yes, I would love a cucumber, actually. Thank you. How the hell does a cucumber taste like watermelon? Alright, be then. Sally's face got real messed up. Oh, I must be, um... I must be playing through, like, Larry's eyes right now. But I'm a Sally face. Thank you so much for coming to help me. Let's see. Thanks for. God damn it. Oh, fuck it. See, thanks so much for coming to help with the toilet. No problem, Mr. Sanderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful. Herman normally would have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned into banana peels. What has he been doing? Juggling knives? Which, I mean, kind of do that at work myself. I don't think I am. Because, uh, Sari went to so I went to the emergency room and they said that there was like see no sign of like diabetes at all. So I don't think it was that at all. And the street corner is just so dangerous. Mrs. Sanderson, uh, do you have something to explain? Have you been have you been working the corner? I understand. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Thanks so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. Yep, I'm playing through the eyes of Larry, but as Sally. I might could grab a beer from your fridge, uh, Mrs. Sanderson. Damn, I can't go. Oh, God. How did I just miss? Is it? 
Yep, it's over there. I don't want the chocolate kisses, damn it. It is not your love I'm refusing. I just don't want any chocolate kisses right now. Actually, never mind. Where the fuck is it? I kind of, I kind of do want one. I ate it. Oh shit! Let's give me another one then. <laughs> Okay, I'll take that too. Double. I think you had a hair in your mouth or on your mouth. I think you had a hair on your mouth or something. Unless it was mine. Probably. I have like hair like falling out left and right. It sucks. The funny thing is, I love that that like Jack's uh, let's see, septic guy is right there in the drain still. I didn't know if it was or not. Hmm. I don't think it did. I think it was basically demons. I think it was demons basically taking form and showing that like uh, that like Sally was uh, was going through a hell of a time right there. But check, Septic Guy is right there. That's funny. Climb up. Gl oh. Glitter ponies really went downhill. Oh, okay. I, I tried looking at the see at the see at the laptop just to see if I could like catch the delay of it, but it still didn't show me, so I didn't know. <laughs> you there? Please help me. What's wrong? The water. It stopped. So thirsty. Don't worry, I know how to fix this. Please, hurry. Oh, I'm gonna hate this. I'm gonna hate this. Uh, basically I'm killing the pony. Oh yeah, that's right, uh... I can't be barefooted in here. There's a fucking fly that keeps landing on my damn foot. Give me a moment to put on my weird socks. I got like multi fucking colored socks right now. Oh shit. I'd rather have my Punisher socks, but I. For some damn reason, they always get a hole right at the fucking toe part. It's always at the big toe. I don't get it. Duh. I'm missing a sock. What the hell? Oh, no, I'm not. It just fell. Damn it. Oh, shit. Alright, now let you little bastards fucking land on me. I don't care. See, I don't care now. Oh, shit. I almost pulled my damn mic out of my fucking controller there for a moment. Alright, so... It's gotta be a single lever, double lever, and then... Yep. There's one. Is it over here? 
Yep. And then bottom lever. I'm pretty sure if it was, I'm sure I'm pretty sure if the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was down here, I'm pretty sure Pennywise probably would have ate, ate them. It was probably thinking like, so damn hungry. He looks over at the turtles and goes like, dinner time, bitches. <laughs> How's this? Oh, there it is. It worked. Sally, how the hell do you know how to turn? the water pressure back on is my next question why is the water so clear in um in the sewer that makes no sense to me i would think it would be like brown green and crappy it's like fresh oh god well, Glitter Bounty, you have became my bridge. I do not feel sorry for it at all. <laughs> well, I no longer have to fix the toilet. <clears throat> I'd say that party got a little too wild. Oh, God. Yep, and there's where the, the let's see, there's where the one glitter pony went missing. One hell of a party. Oh no, this is where I get to go talk to Charlie. Except it's not Charlie. I don't know, with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles versus Pennywise, him being like a demonic spirit in a way, with his tricks, I would, you know, for me, I was more of the very first Pennywise from 1990 with, uh, with, uh, the hell is his name, shit. Hey, honey, what the hell was, uh, see, see, who the hell was the guy that played the first Pennywise? I forget. Was, see, was it Tim Curry? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Uh, I, I couldn't think of his damn name for a moment. I don't, I don't watch it that much, all right? I watched the shit out of it when I was a kid. I know he's your favorite actor, but there's a lot of... Yeah, well, I, I, I mean, I kind of wasn't really a, a, a Thornberry person, really. I, I remember his face in Home Alone a lot. Home Alone too. Lost in New York. But yeah, trying to like figure out. I, I, uh, not gonna lie, I kind of hated that movie. For a comedy movie, I actually hated it. It was pretty damn dumb. There's a lot of original movies you can't stand. See, watch them with me. What are you talking about? Mm. I just said two. I said Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. You got that right. You cannot beat the originals. Sal, come closer. I have something to show you. His pedophilia is coming out now. I know you touched my pony, Sal. I thought we were friends, Sal. I agree. I agree. <laughs> oh, 
Oh damn. I wish I had the see I wish I had the very first uh, game of uh, Outlast. I would actually be streaming that right now, uh, but I found this on sale and, and didn't realize it was actually on sale. Man, you're still having those nightmares? I haven't had them this bad since right after my mom died. I really think it's this building. There's something off about it. Dude, I know you're so insistent about it. But I really don't think that this place is haunted. I think it is. <laughs> I've been here for almost... Oh. I've been here for most of my life. And haven't seen any ghosts. It's because you ain't using the right shit. You're smoking the wrong weed there, uh, Larry. But. But what? Well, we've known each other for a while now. I have to show you something. Uh, yeah, I think you did, but I think uh, you're missing the E on the end. I'm pretty sure. Unless, unless that's the abbreviation to it. I don't really know. But, uh, Larry, I don't want you showing me anything, man. Uh... scared not really I actually know where he's taking me <laughs> whoa how come you never told me about this it's where I go when I need to be alone it's my fortress of solitude. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just the abbreviation for it. Larry's cool, I think. It's a little off. I don't know, he kind of reminds me of like when I was like... Uh, it kind of reminds me like of when I was a teenager, so yeah. <laughs> Except I was just now getting into metal when I was a teenager, and I didn't really. Well, actually, I, I, I did. <laughs> I smoked pretty heavy. Oh shit, hello treehouse. I forget what the treehouse looks like on the inside. Oh god, did I skip something or oh wait no, I just made the sentence go fast. Never mind. This is so cool. I always wanted a treehouse when I was younger. Oh god, excuse me. Yeah, my dad built this for me before he disappeared. Wait, what? What do you mean, disappeared? One day he was here and everything was okay, and then the next day he was just gone. No note, no nothing. And all of his things were still here. His clothes, his tools, his wallet, his driver's license, his beer, his booze, his condoms, his, his just a little bit too much of everything that we found behind. <laughs> everything, he just disappeared. <laughs> Damn, I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard that is. Did your parents not get along? And no, my parents loved each other. So they, they hardly even fought or anything. It was, see, it isn't what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us, even if that's what my mom chooses to believe. I know he wouldn't ever leave us like that. He loved us. Are you sure about that, Larry? 
I believe you. So, what do you think happened? Look, you know, I'm not generally superstitious, and I know you and Chug swear that the apartments are haunted, but, well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of course not. <clears throat> the day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My parents got some firecrackers, and they told me so many times to wait for them, not to play with them on my own, but I just couldn't resist, dude. I would be the same way. Fucking fireworks are awesome. And when you got a lighter nearby, have a shit ton of fun. Just make sure you're not inside a house. I lit a few out back, and one ended up in Mrs. Gibson's open window. It killed her pet rabbit. Well then, that sucks. <clears throat> right on that. Here and there, I still do it, but eh. I'm growing to try to get back into it, but since my body's rejecting it, can't really actually smoke it anymore, which really sucks. It's the only thing it's like takes it takes pain away while I'm actually like coming home from work. And now I don't have anything except bed and rest. So I gotta wait until my body adjusts for that. Still drink soda, thank God. The day that this starts to hurt the hell out of me, I will be absolutely pissed. Oh, I need my caffeine. I can't stand coffee. Can't stand the taste, the smell. So, if I can't do my caffeine, man, I'm screwed. I'll be running around on just fumes because I cannot sleep well at all at night. I'm even immune to fucking sleeping pills. I can't even, I can't even actually fall asleep to sleeping pills. Oh, man, that's rough. I think Sally Face was just listening to my conversation. <laughs> Yeah, so I ran to check on Mrs. Gibson, and she was screaming at me like crazy as if I needed another reason to piss off. That old bag. Oh, that was part of it. Piss off that old bag. I felt horrible, though. That poor bunny. Poor bugs. Poor bugs. Yeah, definitely got that right. I was regretting it when I had to go to the ER on Tuesday. I missed work on Wednesday. Went to work today. It's when my dizziness started acting up and started getting blurry vision, so that really sucked. I feel f a little fine right now. i still got a little bit of dizziness, but thank God none of the blurriness... Only a slight bit, but not as much. Anyway, as I was coming down in the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. He reached 
reached out and touched me. It must have been a hell of a horny. Uh, see, that must have been a hell of a horny demon if it reached out and touched Larry. I got the super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. He reached even further down, and I don't think I should go any further than that. I'm sorry, Todd. Can't go. Any further. <laughs> I thought I was losing my mind. He was gone as quick as he came. Okay, that just added to my joke. God damn. Just as the doors opened, he cursed me because of what I did. He cursed me. Everything in my life was fucked after that. My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. I missed so much school. I had to take summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So do you think this curse took your dad away? Oh, shit. I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Mrs. Sanderson, everything. Oh, hold on, man. Even if there is some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that happens. It's not all your fault. Are you sure, Sal? What did this demon look like? It was nothing... I've ever seen before. It was like... A moving shadow. All black and misty. But it... Had the form of a man. And the eyes were the worst part. These deep red eyes that pierced right through you. Holy shit, what? I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. No way, when? I swear, I've seen it in the building. Just like you described, I bet it's linked to the other ghosts too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How would we do it? Maybe there are some clues around that could help. We can try to find out more about the ghosts. See if we can get to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I've got nothing to lose. Kinda. Damn right shadow people. Shadow demons. If there's too many lights on, they are probably also called semen demons. <laughs> it's funny, I used to call my... Let's see, I used to call a buddy of mine that. My mom didn't want any of my dad's things in the house, so I brought everything out here for when he comes back. Okay. Oh, that's strange. What is that? Your dad has no hair, but you got a lot of hair. <laughs> Found this weird Gear Boy cartridge in the Lost and Found box a while ago. I think it reacts a supernatural activity. That was one of the last pictures we took together not long before he disappeared. Wait, did something actually happen with the picture? I didn't see it. I didn't see anything at all. Hmm. I better keep looking. Take a look at the picture again. 
something did happen. I didn't see that at first. I'm not sure. I don't think they ever actually say anything about his dad in the game. Cabinet. Nothing useful in here. Chest. Ah, I'm not reading all that. I'm good. Ooh, a worn leather jacket. There are a couple of old concert tickets in the pocket. I guess that's where Larry gets his taste in music. It seems like a nice way to bond. I don't think I've even watched a concert on TV with my dad, let alone go to one live. <coughs> I got to go to one. It was awesome. But just one. Cannot wait for another. There's some kind of weird small box in here. Looks like it's sealed shut. What's in the box? Honey, it's your favorite saying. What's in the box? You bullshit, you say it a lot. <laughs> what are you talking about? What's in the box? Oh shit, I forgot to read that, damn it. <laughs> Looks like there's a piece missing. Oh yeah, you're right. I've I've never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Cool. Just let me know if you get it open. Of course. I think I know where the piece is at. All right, uh, I can't do anything else. That's possible, but also I love my leather jackets also, but I mean, the bar handle mustache he had going on, the, I mean, I mean, there's a lot of people with bald heads, but, uh, the bald head, the handlebar mustache, all he needs is a biker helmet, the biker cut, the leather jacket, and then a Harley just to start riding on out of there. So more than likely, he probably did leave. Probably just left his old shitty jacket behind for Larry. I'm going to look around and see what else I can find out. Okay, sounds good. I sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Aww. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sal. Uh... Larry, not to offend you or anything, but your paintings are getting a little bit more fucking creepy. I turn on this TV, so I'm... I should ask Megan if she knows <clears throat> anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Aww. Hey Lisa, you feeling any better today? Oh, hi Sal. I think today might be the worst of it. Once I'm over this hump, I'll be right as rain. Which is good because there's so much work to be done. I'm just itching to get back to it. Take it easy for now and get some rest. Oh, don't you worry about me, Sal. I've been resting plenty, and Larry has been 
So helpful too. I'll be just fine. It's sad. I actually had a friend say I had a friend named Lisa and she passed away just a couple days ago. They're facing legit demons. Like, eventually, it sucks. Near the end, I gotta kill them all. So when it comes down to that, that is why... That's basically why I, uh, I am in the Slammer for. There is a red piece somewhere. And I'm at a loss for words on where the hell it is. <laughs> Sally face. Larry face. I did not mean to hit that. Okay, so I can't use that. Oh, shit. the door to leave. God, did your fat ass eat all the snacks in here? Chuck, what are you up to? Hey, Sally Face. I'm waiting for the snack guy to uh, fill the machine. Can't start my Saturday without chocolate. I think you had just enough there, Chug. I hear ya. I like to start the weekend off with video games and cartoons. Hey, that's actually a pretty good way to start, actually. If only I had SpongeBob tapes still. That'd be awesome. Did you see the new... Rico's? Rico's? I'm, I'm just gonna say Rico. Rico's modish wife episode? What the fuck are you saying, Chug? Yeah, that was great. I love that show. I don't even know how the hell you even say that. Weird, but alright. Really, who keeps leaving their clothes in here? Yeah, I don't know. Why don't you ask around there, Sal? Oh, I can actually look in the lost and found right now. That's pretty cool. So, what do I do right now? I'm in the basement. I I guess we'll just go search all the floors, because I don't know what to do at this point. Mr. Addison, how may I help you, Sal? Fuck it. Didn't you and... Uh oh. Uh, what's going on? Oh, son of a bitch. I am having... difficulties with my fucking laptop right now. I hope to God I'm not losing, the, losing the internet right now. Was that network error? Please try again. I, I do not like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that at all. I'll get it loaded back up. Didn't you and your father receive the invitation to the monthly meeting? Everything gets discussed there. Um. Oh yeah. I guess we just kind of forgot about it. That's not a problem at all, though I do suggest you join in on the meetings in the future. If you're able to, that is. You see, it helps keep everyone informed and up to date. Anyhow, <clears throat> to, to answer your question, I've had new security system put in for everyone's safety with all the recent events. The tenants were. Oh, I don't like 
this at all. My computer's being slow. The tenants were getting a bit nervous. My hope is that with this new state of of the art security system in place, everyone can feel more comfortable in their living arrangements. Yeah, until years from now. Oh, damn it, load for me. Load. Load. I gotta find a way to re to refresh my computer. I, don't, I hate this. That makes sense. Thanks for catching me up on that. My pleasure. Have you seen any ghosts around? Oh heavens to Betsy. Please don't tell me my building is haunted. The last thing I need right now are some prom Fuck, I hate trying to pronounce fucking words a lot of time. Shit. I think it's promotious. Yeah, see, promotious phantoms frightening my tenants. I'm having a hard time enough keeping everyone happy while Lisa is sick. No, no, it's okay, Mr. Oops. Mr. Addison. Everything is okay. I was, uh... I'm working on a paper for school. Yeah, that's all. Phew. I nearly had a heart attack there. I simply cannot handle any more stressors at the moment. I agree on that. You're doing a great job. <clears throat> Try not to be hard on yourself. You're too kind, Sal. Goodbye. Good day. You suck. You never leave your damn room. How the hell do you even come? How the hell do you come to the meetings? Yep. Dude, we need a new fucking manager of the building. You suck. Yeah, I was having the same problem actually. Um, <clears throat> my uh, let's see, my laptop froze there for a moment so I don't I, I have no idea what the hell happened I had to refresh the page and actually go right back into it I think I gotta fix something on my let's see on my laptop just to actually get it work like like running faster 104 I don't think anyone lives here I think I know what's in there I think it's Addison's boxes 403 is no longer available Oh, 204. 204 is Charlie's place. I bet it's all of his, I bet it's all of his child pornography, probably. He probably subscribes to the uh, shit. I'm trying to think, Miss Rosenberg's place. Is this the bitchy old? Who is it? It's style from upstairs. Is there something you want? I just wanted to talk to you. To me? Oh, alright. Come on in. The door is open. Cool. Alright. Oh, God, you look dead already. Hello there, Sally. What brings a young girl like yourself to see this old woman? I love how she thinks I'm a girl. So you gotta lose the ponytails, bro. Hmm. Oh god, excuse me. Oh god, excuse me again, that was a little much. Hi, Miss Rosenberg. I wanted to ask you a few things, if that's okay. Ask away, child. I may not have much left, but time is all I've got now. <clears throat> yeah, 
whatever. Or maybe I've never really had a grasp on it at all. Such a strange concept, isn't it? Time. Sitting here alone. The mind can drift. Hey, my mind always drifts at work. It sucks. A great deal. Wondering what's beyond the veil. Get too deep into these thoughts and the world makes less and less sense. That, that's a hell of a statement. Actually, this world makes less and less sense every day. Especially since we got Biden as president, I'm not going to lie. If my account gets banned, you probably know why. <laughs> we need a better president, for Christ's sake. Yes, time is an enigma. Oh, but listen to me, rambling on. I'm sorry, dear. I'm sorry, dear Sally. <clears throat> you had something to ask. You talk too damn much. I think I'll just go. <laughs> Mm. Oh, that's right. There was another. Oh, God, do I dare? I think Mrs. Gibson would kill me if I bothered her again. Knock anyways. Damn it. In the game early for me. Just have her come out with a cane and beat me in the damn head. So that was floor one. Floor two. I wonder if we can go inside Charlie's place. He's in prison. Todd's place. The fuck is that? Got a good point there, but people getting butt hurt over certain things that you say. Oh, it's crazy. Todd's place. I don't really want to bother him right now. He's usually tutoring on the weekends. Wait, what? Who am I thinking of? Two or three. The people that lived here moved out after what happened with Charlie. Yeah, I don't I don't blame him. Hey, I can't go into Charlie's place. <clears throat> Man, that is Man, that smell is still lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. He must have took a hell of a shit and probably left it floating for a good while. There's nothing. Absolutely nothing. Check every floor. Last place. I'd like to know what the hell the woodwork is going. Oh god, excuse me. I'd love to know what the hell the let's see the wood shop work is going on in one of the rooms here. Chuck's place. No one's home. I'll visit Chuck here in a moment. David's place. College students. They're pretty busy right now. I probably shouldn't bother them. Yeah, they probably are hung over like crazy. Probably smoking a couple doobies here and there. Dave's place. 
Uh, do you mind going and put some clothes on there, bud? <clears throat> oh, hi, Sal. Well, yeah. Yep. Crackhead, okay. Hi, Sal. What you ends up to today? Hey, David. Yeah, for sure. The ghosts of my past keep me awake at night. Also, time. I barely get any sleep around me. Or around here. That. This guy's fucking up my speech. I'm about to stop talking to him. <clears throat> uh, what about, like, a spirit of someone else that used to live here? I gotta lay off the drugs, really. Trust me. You'll have a better life for it. Don't make the same let's see the same mistakes I did. I think you're still making the same mistakes. Pretty sure he is. What happened to your pants? Thank God, there's a question like that. Oh well, they're in the wash. Still, Sarah was supposed to go get them. out but we just got to talking lost track of time I have no idea what the fuck this guy is even saying he definitely got that right bunch of dumbasses really <clears throat> Okay, I, I cannot understand that dude one bit, so we'll just go to Chug. Oh, th yeah, that's right. Fucking. Yeah, okay, that's right. I already went there. Chug is in the basement, so his parents ain't home, so I don't know if you ever actually meet Chug's parents or not. Refer to my place. Robert's place. He must not be home. Can't go in there anymore. Makes a lot of sense to move out, especially what happened the, we'll see in the next door. Uh, if I go check out what's going on with Daddy O. Great, he's watching WWE. Oh wait, no, he's watching cops. Oops. Wrong one. Who the hell's watching TV if you're in here? Hey, Dad. Can't talk right now, so I have to make this deadline for work. It's okay, I'll just take your wallet. I'll go down to the candy store. Maybe the... ABC store to go get some alcohol. Edward Shovel Hands. <laughs> I forgot about that. Ooh, sick guitar. I like, I like that. Hey, he got into his friend's band of Sanity's Fall. I was watching TV. A fucking cat. <clears throat> what you watching, buddy? Meow. Meow? Never heard of it. Oh, God, Gizmo, if you can sit on the couch, you gotta clean your shit. I 
I guess there ain't nothing in my house. <clears throat> I already checked Robert's place. I checked mine. Yep, I already checked everything. So fifth floor it is. This does not look like a very comfortable place to be. This floor is currently being renovated. For your safety, please make your way to the to the nearest exit. What if I don't want to? What if I want to stay up here and party? Locked. Open. Do I want to be in here? That doesn't look promising. <clears throat> An empty room. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I love the way the cat was sitting, too. It's, it's, it's actually pretty funny. He's, like, sitting like one of us would be, like, on the couch. It's like... Meow. Meow, see, meow. Locked. It is open. I should call, let's see, I should call Larry up here. Who the hell is Megan? I should call Larry up here so he can meet Megan. Then he'll have to believe that Addison Apartments are haunted. Hey Larry, you there? I'm here, what's up? Can you come up to... 504? Sure, my mom just took her medicine so she'll be passed out for a while anyway. Ways. I'll be right up. Did we encounter a ghost on the first stream I did of this? I don't really remember. At least one that was a girl ghost. I, I don't know. It couldn't be the mom. I, I don't think it was. So what is it you wanted to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. She... Just come on. <clears throat> He's still standing there. I said, come on, damn. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there it is. But, uh. There's shitty handprints on the door. It's this way. It's boarded shut. I don't remember running into a girl ghost yet. Damn, these fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Shh. What? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? I want you to meet my friend Larry. I don't think there's anything here, dude. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy, though. I haven't been able to get her to come out in a while now. I hope she's okay. So you come up to this moldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl? How often? How often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to her for a few times. Well, like I said, she hasn't been around lately. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey, I never said you're crazy, man. As weird as this is, I believe you, okay? You're my best bud. And if this helps at all with finding my dad, 
then I'm all for it. I really thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling. Dude, know who you should go talk with? Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know. <clears throat> and he's also into this supernatural stuff like you are. I bet he could help us out somehow. Todd, really? Huh. I never expected that he would believe in that stuff. He always seems so normal. Rational. Huh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. Alright, I'm gonna head back downstairs to make sure my mom's alright. Let me know if you find anything. Will do. Alright, cool. Okay, but Megan, where the hell are you? I want to see myself. But she didn't leave a floater. Anything over here? No. I was expecting to see something over here. Probably as soon as Larry would leave. Shit, what floor was was Todd on? Was it floor two? I remember I was going room to room and I kept seeing names. Thank God I actually decided to like go room to room, but I just took a hell of a guess. <clears throat> hey Sally Face. What a nerd. But nothing wrong with that. Sorry it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up what I was wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Hey, I'm Ash. <clears throat> Sally's in love. You must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. I, um, may you have? Yeah, all good things. I swear, I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Me too, er... <clears throat> er, you too. Um, I mean, it's nice to meet you as well. Well, I'd love to stay and chat more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. No problem. We can work more on algebra next week. God, the one thing I really fucking hated in school. Fucking algebra. Ain't using it for anything. Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully I'll run into you again soon, Sally Face. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Enjoy the weekend, boys. You too. You alright, Sal? You seem a bit anxious. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm cool. Okay, so it brings you this way. <laughs> Damn it, Sal. <laughs> Ash seems nice. Is she a freshman too? What is she like? Her full name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman, like us, and overall nice person. She has some trouble with math, so... I've been tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists me with my art assignments. 
She sounds like a great friend. Sure, I suppose so. You didn't come here to talk about Ashley, though. So, what's up? Oh, right. I see dead people. I need your help. Do you believe in ghosts? I believe in paranormal occurrences. And the possibility of consciousness enduring beyond death. Why the hesitation? Despite having witnessed unexplainable... Explainable... Unexplainable phenomena. <clears throat> First hand, I would require concrete evidence to declare with certainty. That I believe in ghosts, though I do find the subject to be quite fascinating. That makes sense. I see dead people. Are you referring to Mrs. Sanderson? No, it's something else. This building is haunted, and I'm trying to find out more about the ghosts here. Ah, I see. <clears throat> I need to invest in a fucking flask of water so I can uh, investigate on how to kill every single one of these little bastards. I need your help. Thank you for telling me your story. I think I may be of some assistance with your exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have a suspicion that an apparition resides in my bathroom. Huh, really? Yes, it does seem to be strange coincidence that your Megan and my apparition are both found in bathrooms. Well, maybe the person that's in your bathroom is just trying to take a mean shit. However, <laughs> it could also be that the water pipes act as some sort of conductor for them, though so that is the only speculation on my part. Do you have the Gear Boy cartridge with you now? Yeah. Perfect. Let's go check out the bathroom. <clears throat> What do you usually do to call upon Megan? Does the gear boy always light up when she's near? It doesn't light up every time, usually. <clears throat> I just start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Okay, go ahead and try the same thing here so we can attempt to summon the spirit. I think I forgot to go up to the fifth floor in the let's see in the first part of the stream for this game hello is anyone here with us we're not going to hurt you we're your friends hello is anyone there taking a mean shit that's why you ain't saying anything nothing is happening and the game isn't lighting up either Hmm, I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I can modify your gear boy to help better detect supernatural hotspots. Cool, sounds good to me. I'll need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I'll need something to amplify the device's reception. And second, something to boost its electrical output. So, like an antenna and a battery pack. Sure, I'll be in my room once you're ready. Shit. It does, but um, I, I don't want to play it because of copyright. 
I like uh, see after I get done like uh, see like uh, see streaming the videos. I usually put it straight onto YouTube. YouTube goes through the whole checklist to make sure that there isn't any like music that's from anything. So uh, basically, they'll get you for copyright. And you won't be able to actually post the video. So I go ahead and take the music right off. Uh, did you? Nope, you did not leave a floater. What do I got? Uh, I got the walkie-talkie. That's the antenna. Oh wait, that's not the antenna. Shit. Ah. Uh, ah, oh, wait. I I know. I know exactly where I need to get the antenna. Larry, I need your antenna from your police scanner. Pretty sure the walkie-talkie helps out with, uh, with the battery part. <clears throat> Is there anything in here yet? There's nothing. There is nothing. Hasta la vista, Sally. There we go. That's what I needed to do. I don't, I don't feel like talking to Larry right now. Hey, mind if I borrow your antenna from your scanner? Uh, I guess that'd be okay. Cool. Now I get to go beat the midget that actually called me Sally Face. <laughs> he can't run from the, from, see from the dipstick of the antenna. Pretty sure he's a leprechaun though. He ain't a midget. I will find that pot of gold, and I will beat him with the antenna. Okay, so two o two. God, I took a drink. I looked up, but it looked like the entire walls in that room was nothing but blood for some reason. Oh, I wish I had that thing. Damn, this is a hell of a hookah. I feel like I know where this red piece to that box is, but I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I know what Todd's parents are doing right now. Bob. I like your fish. That's Bob. He's okay. My parents insisted that I needed more nature in my life to counterbalance all of this technology, as they put it. I, don't, I just don't feel like reading. I want to get to ghost hunting, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree on that one. 
be nice if you could actually be able to do everything that you want to do, but sadly you cannot, especially when it comes to gaming. Okay, all set. Behold, the Super Gear Boy. Um, cool. Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It'll only be in ghost hunting mode while this strange cartridge is in it. Oh, awesome. You had me worried there for a second. However, I unfortunately needed a few extra parts from your walkie-talkie, and it wasn't able to be salvaged. Oh, and wasn't able to salvage it. I hope that is all right. Larry's not going to be happy about that. It's okay, though. It's for a good cause. Wonderful. Now, for the best results, you'll need to hold the system out with the antenna fully extended. To do so... Oh, gee, okay, well, I already know about the fucking... <sighs> the screen will glow if it detects any paranormal frequencies in close proximity. While it's flashing, <clears throat> press that RB button to produce a large electrical discharge. If my theory is correct, then the surge of electricity will provide an ample source of power to energize nearby apparitions and possibly other supernatural elements as well. Okay, I think I get the gist of it. I suggest we take it for a test run in my bathroom. Sounds good. I need to take shit. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, hold up the Super Gear Boy by pressing Y. Hmm, maybe I... It worked. Holy crap. Hello, what's the matter? <clears throat> I never thought he'd kill them. I... It's all my fault. Who? Stacy and her daughter. Oh god, what a fool I was to fall for a married woman. It's never a crime to follow your heart. must be a romantic like I was. It's kind of, you say, <clears throat> but I know better than that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. What do you mean you can't pass on? What's keeping you here? Have you seen a demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? No, 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 no. What? What is it? He's here. Who? The red-eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go. I'm sorry. Back in the shitter he goes. That was fully formed and conscious apparition. I've never seen anything like that. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just one of it's just one thing to read up about the paranormal and formulate theories and a whole other thing to actually experience it. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, we have some work to do. I think I've had my fill of excitement for today, so I'll stay here and do some research. I want to look into more history of Addison Apartments to see if I can find anything about past residents 
and about supposed murders. That'd be really helpful. While you do that, I'm going to search for more supernatural hotspots. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, I noticed something extra. Strangeness. Whatever the fuck that word is. Strangeness static around the game cartridge. You may want to check it out to make sure it's okay. I know one place to actually check. So that'll be pretty cool. I oh, forgot how to put it away for a moment. Anything outside? Your bathroom, perhaps? There ain't nothing light now. What about in your room, Todd? I was getting ready to say, is your fish really dead and it's actually a demon? Oh, I know exactly what they're doing. They're getting fucking stoned as hell in there. <laughs> Okay, let's do the hallway. Still can't go in there. Okay, nothing. Charlie's old place. Let's check out Charlie's place. Dude, everywhere. Um, what? Yeah, it looks kind of look like a satanic symbol for a moment. I was getting ready to say, do I dare? But I guess not. So, <clears throat> okay, I already did floor two. Let's try floor, let's try the basement. Chug, did you eat any dead rats? Okay, I'm not... Picking anything up on that one. Okay. Anything in here? Oh. Another satanic symbol. What the? Something else. Well, let's try his bathroom. Larry, do you got a floater? No, you don't. Okay, nothing. Uh, okay, well, that was the bathroom. Uh, oh, nope. Okay, good. I was kind of worried about that one for a moment. Larry, do you have anything in here, man? You do not. Let me go to your treehouse. Anything outside? Outside. <clears throat> ah. 
Sal. Who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? No, I, uh... Great, so I gotta look around. Gotta look around for the fucking. It's Larry dead in the future. You can see his face just a little bit, like in the orb. But he's like telling you about the about the fridge that the that the little red ball is under. <laughs> When I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts, then that happens. <laughs> Whatever that was, my life is weird. I couldn't agree more, Sal. Okay, let's see if we can go find this damn red ball. I agree with you. It, fucking autocorrect is a bitch sometimes. It, it it really fucking is. You go to say one thing and it changes the damn lettering on you. It's like it's not what I'm trying to say, damn it. Uh okay. Oh god, so that means I got to look for wait. Do you have a miniature fridge hidden down here, Larry? No, you do not. The little red ball in here. No. Where the hell is the red ball at then, Larry? Oh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Wait, maybe I talk to Larry and tell him about the apparition I seen. Ah, uh, never mind. Fucking bugs. Get something sticky so I can just fucking catch one and so I can die. Okay. I got these little bastards. Chug looks absolutely pissed that he can't have his candy bars right now. Absolutely pissed. Okay, so there ain't nothing down here in the basement. Well, at least not yet until I get back behind the shelf behind that door. <laughs> I 
Uh, yeah, I have that happen a lot. It sucks. Anything down here? Nothing. Can I go through? No, I can go out the front. I don't want to on accidentally miss something. Eh. Oh, here comes, here comes something pretty damn interesting. This is, uh, this is freaky. What is that horrific device you have? It's, uh... Uh, well, it's sort of hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things that you don't understand. Well, I should probably go check in with Todd again and see if he's found anything. Can I do that one thing again? <laughs> did all down here so level th wait I should probably check all the all the fridges that I can find Todd's place Is that, oh wait a minute I heard a fucking goat what in the hell are the college kids doing Charlie's cell place oh wait did I already get Charlie's place I, I forget I use the super gear boy on oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm gonna check to be sure. Todd's place. I'm not going to go talk to Todd, but just to check and see if I can find that damn piece. So, 303. Or, no, not 303. I'm thinking, of the, I'm thinking of the damn group. David's Place. College dudes. Damn. Uh, since I'm up here, I don't think I actually came up here yet and did the whole search. What's up, brother? Oh, God. See you later. See you. Yeah, you need to put on some pants there, David. Okay, so nothing there. Let's try floor four. I am going to... Search everywhere up the gear boy. Nope. Can't go in there. Let's 
Strymon plays. I think it's laziness with, uh, let's see, with David, really. And see, welcome to the stream, by the way. Uh, anything in my kitchen? No. Is there anything up with my cat? No. <clears throat> Nothing supernatural about him, thank God. Anything in my room? Nothing. Uh. Oh wait, that's right. Check. Oh, oops. Wrong button. Guess what? Clean your fucking litter box. You can sit and watch TV, but you can't take out your litter box. What's wrong with you, man? Oh wait, let me uh. Let me click on my fridge. Maybe I can put the ball somehow. Oh. Huh. Shit. Fucking Gizmo is watching fucking cops. Harvest place. No. Oh, that's right. I already went it. I already went there. Last four of a check. Oh. Definitely satanic. That didn't look good. No shit. Locked. Okay. I knew there had been something with the bird cage. Another satanic symbol. Hey, I got an achievement. Find all four seals. That's pretty cool. So I don't have to find those anymore. That's a good thing. Yeah, there's, let's see, there's four symbols. Uh, I just found them all, thank God. I was thinking I had to find way more than that. And, yeah, I used to have a cat like that also, but you know, sadly he passed away a long time ago. Is there anything else in the hallway I gotta find? No, I don't have to look for any more of the seals. Oh, I already checked, tried that door. Oops. Okay, here we go. Check around. Nothing. Not a damn thing. Megan ain't here either. Damn. I think the first stream I did uh, yesterday, I forgot to come up to the fifth floor. Oh, shit, Larry said something. Let's see the let's see the ghost of Larry in the future. He said something, and I have no idea where the hell this red ball is. So, let's go check out with, Ch let's see, with Todd. Almost said fucking Chad instead. In the visions? What, do I, like, find it, like, later on or something like that? Hmm. 
Because that's the only thing I could really think, to be honest. Can I visit the shit monster again? I cannot. Wish I had that hookah. Oh, oops. Nah, I thought I was going to Todd's room. Okay. What'd you find, Todd? It's strange, but I can't find any reports of past murderers. The only one that comes up is our friend Charlie. But look at his photo of him on the public record. Why does he remind me of... Uh, of uh, Cotton Hill from King of the Hill. Except it's like younger version of him. And he's got to be a lot more pissed off. It gets even weirder. There's no trace of any of the officers that were here that day. Mrs. Sanderson was killed not even in the classified police records. It's as if they weren't here at all, or like they don't even exist. How is that possible? FBI. FBI was more like it. <clears throat> or Men in Black. The Men in Black would probably work. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but... I did find one interesting thing. It's a missing person case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age 7, lived in Edison Apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Looks like it may be our... Looks like it may be your, your little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg from my bathroom was telling us about. The stories line up, right? Well, here's where it gets weird again. There's an update to the report. One day after the original was filed, stating that the little girl was found dead in Wendigo Lake. That's a few miles south of here, along with her parents. Says they had says they had been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something. That's definitely her. Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. Oh shit, lost and found. Oh, I'm just getting so damn tired of reading right now. I'm just going to go find the damn thing. Okay, the basement. Of course, where the hell else do you find lost and found shit? The basement. I knew I saw a necklace somewhere. Now Larry will see Megan for sure. Oh, shit. Ah. Okay, work your magic whenever you're ready. <clears throat> Megan, are you with us? This is my friend Larry. We have some questions to ask you. <clears throat> Hi, Sally Face. Holy fuck, Knuckles. I forgot he fucking said that. That's not a nice word, Larry. Haha. 
You'll have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. It's okay, my daddy says bad words sometimes, too. Oh, God. How many... Oh, Jesus. Where have you been lately? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah, that's where we all live. It's just like this side, but a little different. Do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean Mommy's friend. I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Oh, yeah. I completely forgot that he actually said that. I usually watch, uh, we'll see other YouTubers play this, and, uh, anytime it got to that point where he said, holy fuck, Knuckles, that's where it got me laughing like crazy. Can you remember anything else about him? Um... Just that he was nice and always brought candy. Oh, and my daddy didn't like him so much, but I don't know why. I, th I think I know why. What can you tell me about your parents? I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here, but he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice like mommy. What happened? I remember they had a fight and then he was sad. Then his sadness turned into angriness. Do you remember your last days? I don't know. It's all blurry now. Were you fishing at Lake Wendigo? Huh? No, I'd never been fishing before, but my daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait, Jim Johnson? Yeah, how'd you know that? That's my dad. Oh, I guess our daddies were friends. Hee <laughs> hee. Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. I'm sorry you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. I'm sorry. Is this your necklace? Hey, yes. Where'd you find that? It was downstairs in the bottom of the lost and found box. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. I don't think it did very well. I don't think it did very well at all. Do you know where your mommy is now? She's in her bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Uh-oh. What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye-bye. Wait, I... Oh, oh shit. I think I actually know what happened to Larry's dad. I think he's actually dead. I think, uh, uh, I think Megan's father killed him, possibly. Oh, wait, no. The mudslide from what they were talking about before. Yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough. Well, we're going to need to get into that bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind going and, and getting it from him? I've asked him three times now, and he's always has some excuse. Maybe you'll have better luck. Sure, I'll head down to the third floor. 
now and see what I can do. Uh, he probably whacks his dick with it. That's the only thing I can say. Well, I would hate to know what else he does with it, but, uh, I mean, besides hold up his bookshelf, uh, as he likes to say, really. Oh, fuck. Mm. Oh. Three or two. Give me the fucking crowbar. Sup, brother? Can I borrow your crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you. But it's the only thing holding up my shelf right now. See those kids next door in 301? They're nice kids and all, but they have this real loud... These real loud parties sometimes shakes the whole wall and my shelf falls right down. I'm not trying to read whatever in the fuck he he actually <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't attach it to his wife because I mean uh, it being a mannequin. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty sad. Okay, let me go take care of this dumb shit. Shut up. There we go. There we go. Hey, CJ, what are you up to? Damn, I got a buddy named CJ. CJ, why the hell did you end up in a wheelchair? What the fuck did you do this time? I'm trying to choose the music for our, our party tonight. Mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. Oh, shit. I have got my audio off. I can't hear a damn thing. Ah, uh, give me one moment. I have got to... I can't keep it on for very long because of fucking copyright. <clears throat> I'd definitely go for that. How about this? Oh, you know, there's something interesting about this one. It's unexpected, it's classy. I think this could work. I don't know what the hell you're smoking, buddy, but I need it. Okay, let me turn that back down. We all get fucking copyrighted for that. Sierra. Hey, Sierra, what are you up to? Oh, hey, Sally Face. I'm contemplating an alternate activity for tonight's party. Oh, God, excuse me. <sighs> Friends and I usually like to do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down. Is it okay if I look over your list? Sure. D&D? &D? Dungeons and Dragons, movie night, video games, chess tournament, karaoke, debate. Mm. Oh, shit. I'm thinking chess tournament. The chess tournament can't be that loud. 
I mean, unless it came to like back when I was a teenager and uh, I played Monopoly. If I finally got to the point where I've had enough of this shit, I threw the fucking table and said, the hell with this shit. <laughs> it has been a while since we've done a tournament. That's the perfect choice for tonight. Is there, oh, wait a minute. Do you guys... Ah... Uh, What interesting green eyes you have. Are you a fucking demon? Or wait, no. Are you an alien? Hey Z, what's up? Thanks, Sally Face. I'm trying to choose a game for the party tonight. I've got this little book of games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? Be my guest. Shit, I got another fucking one. Charades. Shit. <laughs> Fucking dodgeball. There's gonna be a lot of broken shit right there. Telephone? Seems quiet enough. How about this game? Hmm, you know, this reminds me of grade school. That touch of nostalgia could be just what this party needs. Thanks, Al. Never heard of that game before in my life. And if I ever did, I don't think I've ever played it. What's up, brother? Can I borrow the crowbar? Thank God, give me the damn crowbar. Here you go, buddy. Take care. Holla fucking Louia. Five. Shit, what room was it? Was it, uh. Five of the four? Pretty sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, use the crowbar. Oh, I'm, in, I'm a fucking idiot. I thought I went into the damn room. a huge hole in the wall. Looks like there's a room on the other side. Point of no return. No. Not yet. Oh, God. What happened? Stacy? Are you okay? I can see why she doesn't fucking talk anymore. Her fucking larynx are gone. Her throat is slashed. She's talking and she is throat whispering. Hello? 
you'd think they would remove the noose after so long. Wait, what? And seeking providence. Oh, God, not this shit. She desperately sought a place among the council. So the aspiring witch traveled deep into the castle for the initiation trial to retrieve the book of forgotten truths. I feel like I'm playing on my old Game Boy right now. Where the hell am I going? Oh god, I almost walked straight into that. Concentration, concentration. Uh, the fuck do I need to go? It's like playing Minecraft, <laughs> Minecraft in a way, but just. levels. It's like when I was playing uh, The Walking Dead. I managed to finally fuck up on uh, one of the levels I did not mean to fuck up on and got killed like fucking four or five times. I know, it scares me every damn time. Like, like every time I hit it, I'm trying not to. <laughs> yep, don't you fucking dare. I'm trying not to even hit him. Like, the head can hit it, but... As soon as you take one step on the damn spikes, you are done for. I fucking hate this. I don't know how far you can go up with this. I'm trying to see how... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I can't... Can't go up. Trying to see how fast I go with this. There we go. Okay, got past that part. Watch me fuck up. Watch me fuck up somewhere. Got farther than I got. Ow. Take the book. I'm gonna grab me a drink real quick. Good thing it ain't far away, so it won't take me long. Sat on my damn cover, almost fucking ripped down, ripped down everything. There we go. I have retrieved the book of forgotten truths. Will you not see my worth now? Are you sure it's not the book of the dead? The council recognizes the great resolve you've shown us today. Let this book stand as testament of your place among our ranks from henceforth. May our sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting. For we are devourers of God. You know, uh, I, shit, you might as well just call yourself the Satanist since just, just get it the fuck over with. And the mysterious old woman gazed once again into Jim's eyes and said, If you can find the door, <clears throat> this key unlocks. We will share the secrets of the universe with you. Oh, God. Enter. Oh, 
yet. Oh, come on! You bastard. Of course. Oh, there's the damn button. I just grabbed myself a drink. Thank you, though, honey. Okay. Hard to say. Oh, thank God there ain't no time limit. Uh, okay, there's a button. Hopefully it's the button. I ain't gotta fucking worry. Uh, of course. What the fuck do I get inside? Certain way. Oh. That. Oh, it's this way. Damn it. Watch out for the electrifying fence. Don't piss on it. You'll see, you'll see, you'll be in a world of fucking hurt. And, of course, I'm heading the wrong ways. Why can there be a glitch in the game where I can just shoot through everywhere? I'd be so mad if I hit one of the fucking electrical bits. Use key. Okay, he knew not why he was drawn to this place, yet could not prevent his feet from treading the dirt path before him. Perhaps it was simply curiosity, or perhaps it was destiny. Oh, God. Fuck is that Benjamin Franklin? Sorry, members only. Sorry, members of me, motherfucker. Sounds like someone is crying. I better go check to make sure they're okay. Uh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Well, um... Oh, damn it! Oh, it's the sounds they make. Hello, miss. Are you okay? Who are you? Pardon my rudeness, ma'am. My name is Gregory Montague. I didn't mean to intrude on you. It's just that I heard crying and wanted to make sure everything was okay. That's kind of you. I take it you're not with the men of this church. No, ma'am. That's for the best. It's terrible what goes on in this place. It keeps me up at night. <coughs> oh, shit. I'm beginning to fear for mine and my daughter's safety. I've tried to reason with them. I've reached my wit's end. I understand I lost my family last year in the big factory fire. It breaks my heart to see a kind lady such as yourself so broken up. I'd, I'd like to help however I can. You just tell me what you need. That's awful kind of you, Mr. Montague. I'm dearly sorry about your family. Please call me Greg. 
pleasure to meet you, Greg. I'm Stacy Holmes. You couldn't have come along at a better time. You must be an angel. That's a humble farmer. That's oh, just a humble farmer that's glad to be helpful to nice folk like you. The pleasure is all mine. Why can't you just fucking say that? Good lord. When her husband learned of her indiscretions, Stacy knew there wasn't much time left. In fear for her life, she turned to an unlikely alley. Oh, shit. Okay, she said, I need to cut the power lines. Each floor, I hope we can pull this off. Get back up. Enter. Oh, this ain't gonna be fun. Oh, God. Okay. And... Oh, 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 shit. Are you guys chasing me? Oh, no, you guys are just going around in a weird angle. Ooh. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh... I can't take that now. Wait, what? I just cut the power. What the hell do you want me to do? Oh, it's the basement level. Okay, Rosenberg, I cut the power and Greg disposed of the bones. Good. And I've destroyed the seventh book. Will we really be able to stop them? We've got a good chance nothing is guaranteed. But I think we might have done it. <clears throat> I should have never let things get this far in the first place. I'm sorry that Luke had to get your family involved in all this. If we can stop the ritual, then the council won't be... So he won't have another chance to perform it in a thousand years. Then I pray to God that this works. God doesn't care about us, my dear. Don't waste your breath on such things. We must fight for our own survival. It's kind of shitty, but okay. Playtime was interrupted by the promptly setting sun. In that moment, the young girl realized she had gone far too deep into unfamiliar woods. <clears throat> Which way, though? If this is all I got to do, I don't I don't care. the hell do I do now? <sighs> do I go to the route with more leaves? Less leaves? Do 
I piss on the tree? What the fuck do I do here? Oh my god, this is... Okay, go right. I am so fucking lost, I do not know what to do. This is why I'm happy I do not have a Game Boy anymore, because I'm pretty sure I smashed the living shit out of mine. And of course, there's no tree. The hell just happened? Maybe I need to go for the one that has less leaves. Or more leaves. I I'm not sure. I don't know what to do! Oh god, this confuses the shit out of me! I'm wandering further and further into the fucking woods. How far do you want me to fucking go? Good God. Oh, this game is killing me. Let's go for chapter six. I'm getting I'm I'm getting tired of that one. I have a feeling too, but I can't find the end and like it like as soon as I keep going further and further, the screen gets darker and darker and then the game ends right there. It's like well how the hell am I supposed to find anything? So, like, I'm at a loss for words on that one. It's weird. Well, hopefully this one won't be as bad. The other one's just confusing the shit. A young occultist found herself tangled in the, in the bowels of the castle, searching for the final components the council required. Oh god, I'm one of these guys. Well, this is gonna be fun. Oh my god, I almost hit the damn spikes. <sighs> the spikes shouldn't be able to hurt me, but yet, I'm not gonna trust that. Stop being so damn quick about this. I'm glad my fucking finger slipped off the trigger. Because if it didn't, I probably would have just uh, ran right into one of the spikes. <coughs> oh, 
Huh? Oh, don't, don't do this shit to me. Why? <clears throat> God damn, this person's a lot faster than the woman that I played. Can I go further into the woods. Why do I gotta go through the woods even more? Why isn't there sounds? Right. Can I go back and forth and maybe that's the solution? No, that's not the solution. Shit. Yep, you got that right. With more of the aggravation of trying to figure out where the hell we need to go. Where is it? Oh, it's a fucking maze. I hate it. <clears throat> Fuck it. Follow the dead trees. Oh, that, okay, that left me clueless on, on that one now. Uh... Wait, is there a pattern here? Damn it, the screen's starting to get darker. That means I'm about to lose this damn game. Let me go this way. Uh... I'll keep going down the hell with it. There's gotta be something at the end of the road. Damn it. Why, was, why wasn't there directions for this game? That's the one thing that makes no damn sense at all. No directions whatsoever. There's that same damn tree. Uh. Up. Left. Left. Keep going left. Go down. Left. I call bullshit that it's the same damn tree each time. Go up, I bet it's the same tree. God, I fucking knew it. Damn it. Oh, this game is so fucking confusing. Take me this way. Oh, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere now. Oh, damn it, no. Shit! I did left before again, it didn't take me anywhere. I think I got it. I, th I think I finally got it. 
I'm gonna quit this one. And then I'm gonna kill this fucking fly. I keep flying in my face in a moment. <sighs> oh, I get it. The fucking super gear boy is dying on me, so I, I gotta wait till the screen brightens back up. Come on. Die already. I can't see the damn screen already. There we go. Okay. Left. Go down. Go left. Now. Go down. Now go left? Down, go right. I, I finally figured it out. Thank God. Where have you been, child? You had me worried sick. I'm sorry, Mama. I was lost, and it was so dark and and hush now, my sweet angel. <clears throat> Everything is okay here. I want you to have this. Grandma's necklace. It will protect you from the wickedness in this world so you don't have to be afraid anymore. What about Father? He doesn't have to know. This will be our little secret. At least I finally figured that out. Thank God. Now, let me get these damn pieces do the same thing <clears throat> hopefully I figure it out exactly how I just played it <clears throat> thank god there's only two of these pieces I just went as fast as I did without hitting a single spike. Oh. So there's a third one I need to get. I didn't realize I missed one. Thank God, come here, you. Oh, thank God, so I don't have to go back through the woods. I was worried there for a moment. Very good. The preparations are now complete. Stay with the circle while we perform the summoning. I understand. Now everybody run like hell. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, to be honest. It's probably some dumbass thing. In a moment, he found himself somewhere else, even though Luke wasn't sure how he ended up here. He knew what must be done. <clears throat> uh, the woman is a threat to us. She cannot be trusted. We will accomplish great things together and cannot afford any obstacles. Oh my god, this dude's fast. Okay, I could hit him in the head with the damn button. The child will only slow us down. She will never follow us with 
her mother's treacherous blood <clears throat> running through her veins. I've made it this far. I cannot fail. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I almost hit that fucking thing. Walk with me into undying flame and our power shall be endless. Uh, I would rather jump through undying flame, not walk through it. Or wait, not. I'm an idiot. I need to shut the hell up. Oh, come on! Fucking there. Oh, oh god, excuse me. Oh, now it slows down. Ugh. Am I done with the damn game? Luke, can you hear me? Thank god we're done with the damn gear, boy. Luke? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was fun. What the hell just happened? Todd gave me one of his inventions. He said that see, theoretically it could overload and destroy an evil spirit. <clears throat> After I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. It's a good thing you did. So that red-eyed creep has been here for decades. That was before I was even born. I guess maybe I'm not cursed after all. Yeah, who knew Edison Apartments had such a dark past? I thought living here with Charlie was freaky. Damn, this shit is nuts, dude. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about the demon showing up anymore. Todd's thingy seemed like it took care of it. Oh. What is it? No, that's great and all. I was just thinking, I guess since there's no curse, this all means that my dad, he, he just... Oh, poor Larry. Damn, that's sad. Fucking <laughs> flies. I'm sorry, Sal. That's our time for today. The guards are giving me the look. Wait, that was only part of the story. I had hoped to get some honest insight from you today, especially this being our last session and your trial in just a few days. I swear on my life, I've told you nothing but the truth. <clears throat> Government conspiracies, demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system. Sal, these things don't exist. You're, yeah, you're full of shit, Doc. <clears throat> you, you just don't want to believe the truth. You really can't expect me to believe you. Think about it from my perspective. The evidence against you for what you did... Well, it is profound. I know how it sounds, but what I've told you is the truth. Go to the treehouse. Please, just go and see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. What a fucking psycho, eh? I saw a Canadian there for a moment. <clears throat> Which, nothing wrong with Canadians.
well, this is where I'm going to end the stream. And uh, we'll get right back to it here in a little bit. I just hope that everybody enjoyed watching. And if anybody wants to see more, you can be able to view it in my, see in my YouTube channel. Just type in the search bar, Evil Dead 2021 Twitch stream. <clears throat> and you'll be able to find it. So you'll be able to find it there along with all my other streams. But I will be, I'll be streaming again here very soon. I, I just need to get a small break in and then go ahead and uh, start up again. But until then, I'm Evil Dead 2021. I'll see you later. Bye bye.